This video shows how to use the merge documents with, with your customers. So if you go to customer list, and I'll just bring up my short list of customers. So here I have, a, I've chosen all my customers with year-to-date sales of greater than zero, and their email address is not blank because I'm going to use the, the uh, list to email my customers. So you select everybody you want to email. So I'll just go Alt-A to select all, or you can use your Shift key, hold down, uh, click the first one, hold down your Shift key, and click the last one. And then you can hold your Control key to unselect a couple if you don't want to send to a few of them. Then you click on the Mail Merge button, and that'll bring up a dialog that asks you if you want to work on the last document, or you can go browse for a new document, or, or uh, another document that's saved, or a new document. In this case, I'll choose the newsletter I worked on that I do monthly, and I click on the Edit button. And once you hit Edit, it'll open up Microsoft Word, and you'll get a uh, dot the document, which in this case already has some merge fields on it. But I can add more to it. So if I want to say something like via email, and then I put semicolon, and then I want to insert a field. So I can go insert field here, and this shows all the fields available to me from the customer database. So I'm going to find the email address, which is right here the main email address. You've also got contact emails you can choose as well. And I'll insert that field right there. So if I, I can now preview those results to see what I got. And there is my company, my email address. I just go next, 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 next. And of course, if you just go, once you've, you've after you've gone into here and added the content to your newsletter, you know, put in new content. And if you're ready to send it, you simply click on the merge and finish and merge button, and you got a choice of printing these individual documents, so one at a time, or print all the documents so they're merged onto paper with the, each address at the top of each one of them, or in my case, what I'm going to do here is send email messages. So once I choose the email message, I need to select the address I'm going to send this to. And what you, you can do is select again from that same list of fields in the customer, and I'll choose the address, email address again, the main email address. And then you're going to want to put a, a subject line. So we'll kind of call it Inspire Newsletter. And then you can send it as an HTML file, which means you'll get your formatting will stay nice on it. Or you can go plain text. And if you do that, you shouldn't uh, have a letter with anything but plain text on it or you can go as attachment. What that'll do is it'll add a, an attachment to each one of the emails, which the customer then has to open. HTML is usually the best because it actually embeds it in the email and they see it right away. And then you just click OK, and it'll open up Outlook and throw them all into your outbox, and then however many number they're in there, it'll just keep email merging them all out.